Now, over the weekend, the Mixed Martial Arts M1 Challenge took place in Russia, and Stockport cage fighter Matt Thorpe was one of the five fighters making up Team England. You may remember we followed Matt through a day of his gruelling training in preparation. If you missed that, though, here's a quick reminder. And Matt joins me now. What's it like then seeing yourself on film? It's very strange, man. We are not used to it. <laughs> <laughs> the training though was incredible. I mean, we had that that full piece that was on a few weeks back, and just what you had to go through in a day is quite unbelievable, really. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. It's a tough, uh, tough sport. A lot of things to concentrate on. Okay. Well, we'll talk about the event over the weekend. Then, how did it go for yourselves? Uh, unfortunately, the team lost uh, four-one. Okay. Uh, but uh, it was it was an experience. You know, I've been to Rush before. It's uh, it's a uh, Different country, <laughs> to put it nicely. But, you know, it's an experience, it's something I can take away and uh, go away and learn from. It's been a great sort of tournament, though, for England, hasn't it? Is this the first time they've ever competed in it? Yeah, it's the first time England competed in it. Uh, it's 16 countries for the M1 Challenge. Uh, we got down to the last four, so I think, you know, it's a big achievement for us uh, to get that far in the first time round. So hopefully next year, you know, we can build on that success and get through to the finals. That's it. And you must be really proud to be part of the first team to, to take part as well, of course. Definitely, yeah. You know, it's uh, helping put UK MMA on the map. So uh, it was huge, huge uh, achievement for us. I mean, we'll pick up on the uh, quarterfinals, 5 0 winning over Holland. It's perhaps a bit easier to talk about that than the, yeah. the Russian <laughs> fight. But, you know, th th those sort of fights, for England to be able to dominate a, t a nation like Holland at this sort of sport when it's the first time in this competition, and that shows that there's, you know, a bright future for it, really. Definitely. I mean, our first fight was against Japan. So, I mean, we dominated against them 4-1, and they're, they're, it's a big, big sport over there for them. So it was a massive, massive win for us over there. So uh, it's showing that, you know, in the UK it's becoming a big, big sport. Well, that's it. And obviously we've got the fight over the road at the MN Arena coming up at, later on this month for Michael Bisbing. We, we claim he's from Manchester, he's from Cliverow, really, but <laughs> it's always nice to claim him as our own. Um, but do you, do you see it growing in popularity over here? Sort of In America, it's absolutely incredible, isn't it, the size of it? Yeah, I mean, it, over in America, it's, it's rivaling boxing now, you know, it's becoming a, a big sport. I think over here it's getting, getting that way now, you know, it's got TV coverage, it's getting TV coverage all the time, and magazines dedicated to it, it's on the internet, so... It's definitely, definitely growing, and I think it'll keep growing. Do you think uh, that it can rival boxing, then? Uh, I'd like to think it could go hand-in-hand hand with boxing, to be honest with you. You know, I enjoy boxing as a sport, and I enjoy MMA as a sport, so uh, I think they can both be big, big things, yeah. And what, what, what can someone like Michael Bisbing do for the sport in this country? Uh, he's, you know, he's, well, he's already done so much for the sport, you know. He's, he's, he's gone over into America and made waves over there and brought the sport over here with him, so he's, he's, you know, he's going to be a great thing for the sport, definitely. OK, going back to yourself, you're working on a few teaching methods and so on now and doing a bit of coaching and that side of things. Is that something you enjoy and sort of bring in the future of, of MMA through as well? Definitely, yeah. You know, uh, I've, I've coached a little bit through my time. I've, I've been training 10 years now, so I've done a bit of coaching. I've just opened my own class up in Regis, so uh, I'm hoping to bring, you know, some fighters onto the scene and get them, in, get them into a sport that I love. And what's up next for you, then? Uh, I'm hoping I'm going to fight maybe the end of November, early December... If not, I'll be concentrating on the M1 Challenge again next year and hopefully, like I said before, uh, getting us through to the finals. Excellent. Well, best of luck with everything and good luck with the, t the coaching and the teaching as well, giving something back. It's always nice to see. Thanks Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.